Now we're plowing along at about a 50 knots. It feels like, well, it feels like we're riding a souped up ocean liner. It's 50 over a choppy sea. It's 55. It's 55. For a throttle, it's 60. It bounces to 65. It's 70. It's 75. At a time of austerity, one young American dared to dream big. Pushing the boundaries of aviation, he built the largest aircraft in the world. The H-4 Hercules is better known as the Spruce Goose. Just like its creator, Howard Hughes, this giant silver flying boat is legendary. The new Bremont H-4 Hercules limited edition pays tribute to one of the greatest feats of aviation engineering in history. July 1942. Following Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor, the United States has joined the Allies in fighting the Axis powers. Packs of Nazi U-boats patrol the oceans, sinking Allied vessels at a ferocious rate. Instead of using vulnerable ships, giant flying boats could carry cargo above the waves, beyond the reach of enemy torpedoes. Aircraft manufacturers dismissed it as impossible. But one man had the vision to tackle the task. Skilled aviator and billionaire businessman, Howard Hughes. Hughes was an eccentric Hollywood movie maker with a talent for aviation. A skilled test pilot and respected engineer, he set up the Hughes Aircraft Company to build his unique aircraft designs. The government awarded him an $18 million contract to build the prototype flying boats at his Culver City plant. Development of a new aircraft takes years. Hughes had just 24 months. His project was not allowed to compromise the war effort in any way. This included the use of scarce materials like aluminium. In a tremendous feat of engineering, the giant flying boat would be made of birch wood. The Hercules was over twice the size of any contemporary aircraft. Its 320-foot wingspan is longer than the Statue of Liberty. The tail stands eight stories high. The wings housed eight radial engines, giving 24,000 horsepower, enough to carry two Sherman tanks safely across the ocean. Hughes designed the first hydraulically actuated control system that became standard on future large aircraft. The Hughes H-4 Hercules is arguably one of the most important aircraft that ever flew. Its sheer scale, its innovation and construction, the way the control surfaces work, place this aircraft at the center of aviation history. The aircraft is so large that only one place you could do a visual check was the viewing platform Hughes built that rose from the spine of the cockpit to report via radio telephone. Four years after Hughes' death in 1976, rumors circulated that the aircraft was going to be broken down and parts sent to museums around the country. There's public outcry. To the extent where the US House of Representatives voted to make the Spruce Goose a national treasure. Progress on the Hercules had been slow. The war was over and any strategic need for the flying boat was long gone. In 1947, Hughes attended a Senate hearing, accused of wasting government funds. During six days of intense questioning, Hughes defended the Hercules and his reputation. I've put the sweat of my life into this thing. I have my reputation rolled up in it. And I have stated several times that if it's a failure, I'll probably leave this country and never come back, and I mean it. He maintained that building an aircraft of this scale would prove vital to the future of aviation. A senator described the Hercules as a flying lumberyard that would never fly. On a blustery day in November 1947, Hughes prepared for the first trial flight of the Hercules. The launch resembled a Hollywood premiere. Large crowds lined the shores of Long Beach Harbor to witness the fate of his creation. Hughes was at the controls. It's 55, more throttle, 
It's 60. It's about 60, 65. It's 70. It's 75. And something momentarily he cuts out, and I believe we are airborne. We are airborne, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't believe that Howard Hughes meant this to be. I don't know. And we were really up in the air. We were really up in the air. As the silver beer moth lifted above the waves, the crowds began cheering. Hughes flew less than a mile, and for less than a minute, and in that short time, secured the Hercules place in history. So the H4 Hercules wasn't so much built, it was crafted. The surface was devoid of any flaws, any rivets, any bumps. It perfectly designed and manufactured. And we tried to build that into the Bremer H4 Hercules watch collection. As with all our watches, we're trying to capture the essence of what that original aircraft was all about. So the design is based off that 40s era. Although the aircraft was called the Spruce Goose, it was originally made of birch. And we have birch from the actual aircraft on that maiden flight built into the watch. And the packaging, which is all handmade in the UK, we've incorporated some original fabric material from one of the ailerons when it was in restoration. We've incorporated a new movement, the BWCO2. You can see on the back has this wonderful galvanic coating to match the colouring on the H4 Hercules aircraft itself. And we're only making 300 in stainless steel, 75 in rose gold. And the first time ever we're making a platinum watch and making 75 of those. So each of these amazing watches are all hand-built here in Henley-on-Thames. And we're really pleased to be raising funds for the Evergreen Aviation Space Museum to help preserve this amazing aircraft. We are very proud to be partnering with Braemont on such a strategic partnership. It's not only the watch that they build that is highly engineered, highly sought after, is an icon around the world, as much as this airplane is highly engineered and an icon around the world. And, and to have a watch that now people with pride can wear, knowing that it's supporting this great engineering achievement, is huge to us. Hughes had achieved the impossible and silenced his critics. An icon of its era, the Hercules remains one of the world's largest aircraft today and the largest flying boat ever built. Hughes wanted to be remembered for his contribution to aviation. The H4 Hercules secured his legacy. <laughs>